Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to talk about motivation and motivation in a specific to game developers and whoever is working on an indie game, I want you to listen to this and I really want you to listen to this because I really, really believe that indie game development is one of the most amazing arts that I actually been able to create. And you know, I work in apps, I work in other industries, and, and there's nothing better than making a game. The reason why I say that is because it literally, there's nothing better than, you know, where something where you're writing code and, and you're applying art, and then all of a sudden you're creating, you're creating an entire world. So game development to me is not just, you know, coding or art. Game development to me is a lifestyle and I know a lot of you are listening to this and you're and you're you might be struggling to you know to finish your game or or spe you're spending a lot of time on making games and you're feeling overwhelmed there's a lot going on and then you have to find people to help you out some people might not be pu pulling their way and you know making a game it, it's very very complicated it's a complex complex process not only that it requires huge amounts of dedication, huge amounts of skill sets. At the same time, anybody can create a game, don't get me wrong. But I think the, the ones that persist, the ones that persevere, the ones that are doing this you know, on a daily basis, and, and you're always thinking about the vision, you're always thinking about the end goal, and those are the ones that are able to go through and actually finish a game. So when I started making games, I really didn't think about, you know, all the different changes that I had to do in my life, in my personal life, in my career life. I thought making a game was gonna be as easy as, you know, I work a little bit here and then, and then at some point I was gonna finish the game and I was so wrong about that. It, was, it wasn't as easy. And, and in fact, it actually changes your emotional state. It changes your lifestyle. It affects your family, and it affects it in a good way. Don't get me wrong; I'm, I'm a super positive person. I I try to always find ways to to make everything positive and to always look for for the good instead of the bad. And that's the thing that I that I'm here to tell you is that if you're working, you know, if you're working on a game, and you might ask me, Dilmer, so how do you stay motivated? How do you how do you, how do you keep working? How do you find time to do all this? Because it is really hard. Even the people that are, you know, doing this full time, it is really hard. It's really hard to to persevere. It's really hard to make something, you know, that that is a concept and taking that concept to an actual finished product. That is not only a finished product, but it's also fun. It's also exciting to play. It's gonna be exciting for other people to play. So there's a lot of thinking process that goes through this, and and I'm here to tell you that it is possible. You have to you have to be willing to do what nobody else is doing. You have to work every day. You have to, you know, be able to work in in, in times when when you really didn't do that before. For example, I I work super early in the morning. I wake up at 4:30 a.m. every day. There's days when I really don't want to do it, but if I know by a fact if I don't do it, I'm not gonna be able to finish what I you know what my goals are. My goals are to finish games. I want to be able to finish a game every three months. I really get demotivated if I'm not creating. So when you ask me, Dilmer, how do you stay motivated? I'm going to tell you, I stay motivated by shipping games. And that's basically the reason why I want to make these videos is because I want to tell you that the best motivation, the best thing that you can do is actually ship things, actually finish things. Try not to make things so complicated that you're never going to be able to see you know, a, a release product, I want you to understand that you have to be able to give up a lot of features. You gotta be able to give up, you know, and make an MVP, a minimal viable product before you can get to that AAA game style that you wanna get to. So don't get, you know, don't get down just because you're not there yet. Be excited about the process. Be excited about every little thing that you're adding every day. And I always talk about making tasks very small. The reason why I make my tasks as small as I can, so I might be able to, I might have a project that might take me about three months, four months, or five months. It doesn't really matter how lengthy the project might be. What I try to do and what I recommend everybody to do is to break down the, those projects. When a project is too large, it's really hard to get motivated because you're not gonna be able to see a result right away. 
instead of doing that and waiting for the very end, make sure that you break that project into little pieces. Make sure that you're working on little pieces and, and you're finishing those pieces and you're seeing those pieces finish and you're talking to your team and say, oh guys, look, I finished, uh, I finished the input manager. I finished this mechanic. I finished this port for this game or, or whatever it is that you're trying to do, make sure that you're making that as, a, as a small as you can. Even if it take you, takes you an hour to finish that feature, that's great. Instead of taking you, you know, months to finish a, a feature, and then by the time that you finish that, you're already burned out. You're already not motivated because you're not seeing a result right away. So don't lose hope. I, I tell you, you know, you gotta be consistent. Do it every day. Do it if you need to take a break once in a while. Take a break, but you know, continue on. Get back into that routine. Because a lot of times we lose motivation because we're not seeing results right away. So seeing results is very, very important. Keeping our games small is very, very important. Or even if you're making a game that's really complex, like I said, break those projects into smaller pieces because that's really what, what's gonna get you going. So thank you guys, I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about this, this process, you know, let me know through the comments. I'm always super happy to to communicate with you. I get a lot of messages every day, so let me know through the comments. Don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Send this video to somebody that is going through this process and believe me that, I, that I've that been there. I know what you're going through. So share this to somebody that needs it right now. Thank you guys.